I hope you're doing great. Uh, I've got a Don newspaper right today, right in front of me. Don newspaper editorial. Okay, I will show you also. Maybe I forget that. Okay, um, the editorial changing tune. I will be reading in English and doing the translation, easy English translation. Otherwise, the purpose of reading Don newspaper it will not be served if the translation is done in, in any other language. Pick up your notebooks, pick up your copy, just okay, pick up your iPad or your mobile phone, write the words, synonyms, I've written them, I'm written also in, in bold letters also uh, and we will discuss about that, I will be analyzing critically also and uh, but I'll be I'll be most uh, neutral okay let's see uh, after about a week a uh, week of remorse uh, triggered by the blowback over his chief of staff's controversial statement it appears that Imran Khan is back to complaining about the establishment to the establishment now let me first of all underline this entire you see section I don't know why it's not working correctly let's see if it works it did not okay uh, if it does not then we will do what uh, okay now you see this is the this is the paragraph under analysis after about a week of remorse after about um, a week of remorse after about a week of regrets of repentance means it had taken only one week they were repenting this the repentance triggered triggered by the blowback you see that was this was the result of uh, results uh, 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 unintended result blowback is unintended result result backfire or result result over his chief of staff controversial statement due to the statement given by his over his chief of staff that was a controversial statement means a debatable statement it appears now it is evident right now that Imran Khan is back to complaining is is back to you know in, in registering his uh, objections about the establishments to the establishments means the for example if you are complaining against the judiciary so you will you will <coughs> you'll complain to the judiciary about the, the your complaint uh, against the judiciary this is what the, this uh, this paragraph is about okay let's go for the second paragraph in in a Thursday speech the former prime minister regretted that the powers that be had allowed crooks to return to power despite knowing about the corruption his political opponents had allegedly been involved in <coughs> okay let's do up to, to this one okay in a Thursday speech on Thursday you see Imran Khan made a speech uh, the former Prime Minister regretted he showed his regret that the powers be that whatever however high or low had allowed crooks had allowed crooks means offenders robbers I've, I've written here you can see offenders or crooks villains to return to power to come back to power they were they were allowed to assume power despite knowing about the corruption in spite of the knowledge about the corruption his political opponents had allegedly been involved in that his uh, political opponents had been uh, uh, had been un uh, allegedly involved in such corruption cases it may not be news now let's go ahead it will be clear uh, clarified very um, explicitly it may not be news it is not a new news it is not a fresh news it is not a breaking news nothing is new under the sun but it was still disturbing to hear from the horse's mouth that the country's intelligence apparatus would feed the Prime Minister information on politicians and their alleged corruption and that the accountability apparatus was used for political engineering now let's clarify these two words horse's mouth that means from the original source somebody for example is blaming or accusing something and we hear from the same person so that is called we heard that from the horse's mouth 
uh, that's that's an idiom beautiful idiom and uh, engineering is planning and plotting political engineering political planning political plotting so that was you know political st politically staged now let's uh, go for the paragraph it may be may, may not be fresh news but it is still upsetting that prime uh, upsetting to to have heard from the original source that the country's intelligence that country's isi uh, uh, would give him give prime minister information on the politicians and uh, their uh, their involvement in the corruption that accountability apparatus was used for political engineering that the nab was also used uh, uh, for political plotting po political you know management or planning so that's what the sorry when i start from here it does not accept it it accepts let's see it if it accepts from here it doesn't why no okay <coughs> let's go to the next one Mr. Khan suggested that his much hyped anti-corruption drive ultimately failed because the National Accountability Bureau was being managed during his tenure uh, by a helping hand who would in Mr. Khan's words press this accelerator, accelerator or take their hands off whenever it suited them. Now let me clarify the same and see mr khan suggested that this suggestion was forwarded by mr khan that his much hyped anti corruption drive much hyped what is that much talked about much advertised much you see uh, exaggerated one much talked about uh, anti corruption drive ultimately finally failed because the national accountability bureau was being managed that was being managed but that was steered during his tenure by helping hand there was somebody behind this behind a neb uh, to steer the steer the steering who would in mr khan's words press the accelerator who who was you know pressing the ex accelerator turning the or accelerator increasing the acceleration or pressing the accelerator or taking their hands or feet off the accelerator whenever whatever suited them now here we have a grammar point also we have the dash here you see the dash has been used here you can see that the dash is here right here dash uh, is used when you're giving an extra information when you want to provide an extra information if you're using here the speech marks the speech marks are used here i don't know it's not working you see a helping hand so in, in invert, inverted commas in the speech marks that means this is very important one the writer wants us to know this and wants us to read this carefully a helping hand you see with two fingers you see when from both hands you give the gestures in talking the speech marks who would in mr khan's words press press the accelerator again speech marks or take their hands off whenever they, if it suited them the former now let's go ahead the former prime minister implied that neb was unable to close cases because because the establishment never let it now prime minister former prime minister implied that 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 he 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 wanted to say or what he wanted to say imply means what he meant the former prime minister meant that meant that neb was unable was not in a position to wrap up the cases because the establishment was never in favor of wrapping up the cases okay now question arises um former prime minister implied that implied that means the hidden meaning he is giving he meant that was unable to ca close the case if the nab was unable to close the cases question is why was nab not able to close the cases even during the Im imran khan's tenure he could have if he had the power he would have 
you know, exerted the same power on NAB to close the cases quickly. And there was no, no indict, indictment, uh, you know, um, you know, filed against uh, uh, against Shehbaz Sharif, the prime, the current prime prime minister of Pakistan. Why th th this case was never, you know, finalized? If there was no hand behind this one, this is a question. Let's go ahead. Mr. Khan's Thursday speech pre presents a strange worldview. The writer writes that Mr. Khan's Thursday speech is very strange, is cure, presents a strange view, presents, gives us a very strange look. It appears that, the, uh, uh, let's go ahead, it appears that, that he still wants those he now disparagingly calls neutrals to continue to interfere in domestic politics rather than see them detach completely from the legislative and judicial apparatus. <coughs> okay, and now it is apparent uh, that it is clear clear that he still wants them. He wa wants those uh, uh, people who, who the whom he calls neutrals whom he calls uh, disparagingly, unfavorably calls, uh, unjudgmentally calls net neutrals to continue in, to interfere. Continue to interfere, that means they have been, they have been inter interfering, this is a proven fact that he wants them to continue, that they have been continuing, I don't know. Interfere in domestic politics rather than see them detach or stay away see and detach detaching also would be right see them detaching completely this is a grammar point see them detach completely separate them or keep them away keep them at bay from the legislative from uh, legislative and judicial uh, apparatus okay from the law, law making uh, assembly senate and the judicial judiciary as well If so, is one to understand that he has learnt nothing from the folly of his over-reliance on his former benefactors for perpetuating his uh, tenure? Now, uh, there is a question. If so, in that case, uh, hasn't he learned any lesson from his mistake that he dependent depended on the farmer uh, people who supported him during his uh, during his government surely he should have understood by experience that any power that is not answerable to the people has no compulsion to act on any will but its own Certainly, he should have sh he should have learned learned the hard way by through his experience that uh, power the power which is not accountable uh, to the people uh, has is not is not under any obligation uh, to act uh, accordingly to act according to their wishes or wills, but they will they would uh, act on their own. Now let's go ahead. Aside from Mr. Khan's renewed gripes about the establishment's role in politics, there were other indications on Thursday that the ebb and flow of the PTI's relationship with the powers that, that be may be reaching another inflection point. There are a few words to be explained. Uh, gripes, gripes means here are complaints, objections, grievances, um, and ebb and flow, ups and downs, rise and fall. Inflection point, I haven't written, but inflection point means a changing point, returning point. Now you have to change your, uh, your stance or what, uh, that's the inflection, inflection point. The spelling could be I-N-F-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, e -E I-N-F-L-E-X-I-O-N. Both spellings are acceptable. Okay. Aside from Mr. Khan's renewed gripes, the newly 
found a uh, complaints the, the new complaints you see uh, uh, apart from them uh, about the establishment's role in politics uh, there were other indications there are other things also uh, were on Thursday that they, that came came up uh, that the ebb and flow the rise and fall of the PTI's uh, relationship their uh, affairs with the powers that be whatever that be lower or higher may be reaching another inflection point they may be reaching another turning point <clears throat> this is what the writer wants to say I don't know it doesn't change sometimes oh it went okay it still this did not okay after earlier <clears throat> calling for legal proceedings against Shebaz Gill for his controversial remarks, PTI Senator Faisal Javid changed his stance to demand that all political leaders who were ever criticized, who have ever criticized or uh, spoken out against the military, should first be tried on similar grounds. So, uh, after uh, calling for legal proceedings, after they said uh, there should be legal proceedings, you know. Um, you know um, against Shebaz Gill for his statement if there is though he should be given given a given a fair trial and now now PTI Senator Faisal Javid um, has changed his his, his, his statement and uh, is demanding now the political leaders who, who have ever spoken whoever that their names are from like uh, Nawaz Sharif, uh, Maryam uh, Nawaz, Nawaz, Maryam uh, Safdar or um, uh, Asif Ali Zardari, Maulana Fazlur Rahman and uh, there are so many uh, other leaders who have spoken against the um, um, you know uh, uh, criticized the military and that is on the record uh, so they, are, they should be also tried on the similar grounds so he demanded that there should be cases against them in the court and the, the, the grounds and the, uh, the basis should be the same Meanwhile, Mr. Gill remained in the headlines for the tug of war uh, over his custody as well as uh, concerns over his physical well-being. Okay, so uh, there was a tug of war, there was a battle or there was a, a power struggle. Uh, over his custody who should take him Islamabad police or the Rawalpindi police so that remained in the headlines okay uh, though though images of politician being dragged around by police to courthouses and hospitals are unfortunately nothing new in Pakistani politics the concerns over his alleged torture are quite serious that's a very beautiful thing the writer has mentioned the edi in editorial that uh, his concerns that the concerns over his alleged torture are quite serious because they, these ser the, uh, the tortures are so um, so gravious and uh, so grave um, um, you know such uh, voice has been raised by many uh, many people who have watched or who know about his torture so uh, the uh, the images of politicians being dragged around being pulled images that are pictures or visuals that he is being pulled uh, by police uh, by police to the courthouses and hospitals they they the, the uh, that's nothing new in the politics but the concerns are are, are uh, over his health are very grave so that they should be given uh, some consideration with some journalist and a PPP lawmaker claiming to have seen evidence that Mr. Gill was indeed indeed tortured in custody the matter cannot be ignored any further and must be looked into critically and independently here I see some biasness that the uh, PPP lawmaker who has claimed uh, that he has seen it seen it his name should be mentioned here and journalists also they were important journalists uh, so the journalists and PPP lawmaker uh, they, they have claimed that they have seen some evidence they have seen evidence that Mr. Gill was uh, really tortured tormented in within the police custody the matter cannot be ignored this should not be ignored when this should not be ignored any further and must be looked into 
this should be taken taken care of uh, critically and independently uh, the torture and custodian death prevention and punishment bill 2022 just landed in the senate after pa after passage from uh, from the national assembly so this uh, recently this bill has reached the senate in 2022 uh, the torture and custodial death anybody who dies inside or is killed inside there there is a bill that there should be consequences also it would be great shame for this government if it emerges that it is not serious about putting an end to un inhuman practices under its watch this is beautiful suggestion by the editorial uh, that it would be a great shame yes it would be and it should be what is going on okay that was beautiful and inhuman practices the pronunciation would be inhuman not inhuman inhuman practices so that the means uh, brutal or barbaric practices under their watch uh, during their government this would be a matter of shame i think you 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 must have liked um, the analysis um, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel for further videos see you soon